Hello everyone, Captain here, and in this video I want to get into Warren Buffett and his recent sale of all of his airline shares. Also, if you like three free stocks when you sign up for Webull and Robinhood, check the links in the description below. So guys, Warren Buffett just announced something huge yesterday at his annual meeting that he sold all of his airline shares in the month of April. So, Warren Buffett sold all of his United Airlines, American Airlines, Delta, and Southwest shares, and he's extremely bearish on airlines for the next few years. So, he sold all of his shares shortly after repurchasing a lot of them in March. And he took a huge loss on all of these shares. He bought, let's say, Delta around, I think, 40-something, and he sold it at 25. So huge losses on several of these shares, and he sold all of his airline shares. So what is the reason for this? Well, he attributes this kind of valuation that he made a mistake due to the fact that he didn't account for the fact that the government could step in. And these airlines are taking on huge debt right now, right? $10 billion about each from the government. And he didn't think that that was a possibility. So he says in the future, this will affect their ability to profit because they're going to have to pay back all of these huge loans to the American government. Also, the fact that they gave away some shares in the company, uh, options to buy shares in the company to the federal government. So this kind of made his valuation very bleak and he doesn't see a good future in general for these airlines due to the high debt taken on from the Fed. Now, the future for the airline industry, he said also, he said he thinks for the next two to three years, they're going to have huge issues in being able to profit because of the Fed thing, but also because just travel in general will be diminished. That's what he thinks. He said he doesn't know for a fact, but he thinks that, right? So he thinks travel and the travel industry will be heavily hit during these times. And just the future for the airline industry is looking bleak for the next few years. Now, this comes after we went over the video earlier in April that I had posted where he sold some of his airline shares in Delta and Southwest. And what was the reason, guys? I was telling you the reason was that he can get under the 10% threshold because he owned more than 10% of the companies. And on the SEC, you have to report all of your transactions when you own 10% or more of the company. So he went under that 10% threshold and he sold all of his shares after that. So that was kind of the move that I was telling you guys about after the short, small sell. And then he sold and liquidated all of his positions. In the month of April, he sold about $6.5 billion worth of positions, and those were mostly the airlines. So he wasn't really buying anything, and this is kind of showing us that overall, uh, Warren Buffett's vibe on the market is extremely bearish still. He still said I, throughout his annual meeting that he was still bearish and uncertain on the market and what's going to happen in the future, right? The future for airplanes is looking bearish in general based off of what Warren Buffett is doing, and Guys, I want to get into what I was showing you guys as well earlier in the month of April. And in the month of April, I showed you guys several of these airline stocks and where they went during the 08 crisis when many people were affected by these things, right? And during the 08 crisis, guys, I mean, these airlines fell drastically. They fell to $3 for United Airlines. And we'll get into the other ones as well soon. Um, we can get into some technical analysis now just looking at the stocks. I know... Obviously, the general consensus is that these stocks will all open up bearish over uh, on Monday because of this huge news that Warren Buffett sold his shares. And I really think that we're going to retest the lows of all of these airline stocks. Now, that doesn't mean for the rest of the stocks in the market, that's the possibility. But for these airline stocks, at least, I think based off of what we've seen in the 08 crisis, we will retest a lot of these stocks. So that's United. Let's get into Delta as well. Delta is a very popular stock to look at right now. Um, we see that Delta also tried to go up above this 20 exponential moving average. And guys, these lines that I drew have been drawn for a few weeks right now. So I really think it's a possibility that we might retest these lows with the news that came out right now by, from Warren Buffett. And just looking at the monthly again, the monthly right now is not looking good for Delta. I mean, again, during the 08 crisis, we fell to about 351 again. So Delta Airlines as well is not looking good. Uh, let's go into Boeing. Boeing is very popular right now. And Boeing is one of the major losers from this, right? Because several people will not be needing airplanes in the future. That's one of the main takeaways as well that uh, Warren Buffett was trying to be clear on. He was trying to say that Boeing, great company, but the fact of the matter is, is the only thing that can possibly keep them up is the defense contracts, but they won't be making several commercial planes. So this overall for Boeing's industry as well is looking bearish because Several of these companies won't be putting in many orders because they're going to be needing to focus on other stuff and they're not going to be getting the newest model plans and stuff like that. So right now, 
Boeing is going to have a huge effect as well. And I do think we retest lows, possibly break them based off of this news and consumer demand for airplanes just going down. And let's get into, and again, Boeing, just to point it out, very low, went down to $29 from a high of, what was this, 106 So very bearish as well. Now let's get into Southwest. So Southwest Airlines was the best holding up airline in these last few weeks because their balance sheet was a little bit better than all the other ones. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're in the same industry. They're going to get affected by it. Right now, Southwest Airlines, again, uh, during the 08 crisis, I mean, they had other issues, I'm sure, over here. But right now, we fell from $16 all the way down to $4. So Southwest Airlines has had a bit of a better um, just balance sheet in general. I know Southwest, I think, is only domestic flights. And that's why the uh, overall economy for uh, domestic flights might not change. It's going to change, but... It might not be affected as heavily, but the other ones get hit even more because the international planes and just flights in general will be diminished severely. So Southwest as well is looking bearish right now, even though they're holding up the best in this current market. And just getting into the last one, American Airlines. So American Airlines, again, one of the positions that Buffett was holding as well. And guys, I mean, American Airlines went from a peak of what was this? Let's say the OA crisis happened here. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it just was pretty drastic. And it just fell all the way down to about 188. So, guys, be careful when investing in these stocks. These stocks can fall a lot right now. They will be heavily affected by the coronavirus. And that's basically what I've taken from what Warren Buffett said. Now, that is my own opinion on Warren Buffett's opinion. And this is not financial advice. But I do think that we will see a kind of further price crash for these airline stocks in the near future, especially on Monday when this kind of news comes out of Warren Buffett selling everything and everyone kind of figures that out. So guys, be careful when investing in airline stocks right now. Please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you'd like me to look at next. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.